It's Friday. I'm chilling out. I'm having myself a nice Budweiser lager beer. King of beers. American made in St. Louis. At any rate, um, we've got a new module out right now, and it is uh, called the Gates Module. And we're helping in production with this module for Rat King Modular. Uh, there's another uh, couple modules, few modules, that Ian over Rat King has made that is in the same series and the same 8 HP, and they look great. And this one is awesome. Let me go through a few of the things that it can do. Well, first off, I'll tell you what it is. It's a dual VCF VCA module that's all vectoral based. It's got four of them in here, actually. And um, it's got high pass input, low pass input on the filter. And then on the VCA, pretty simple input, audio input, CV, and then an output. Uh, the, the, the output of the filter normals to the input of the VCA. So you can kind of shape and um, filter the sound that you want going through your vectoral, vectoral base to VCA. Obviously, there's going to be a cutoff frequency knob, resonance, Q, and that can go really into self oscillation, and then you can use it as a VCO. Um, CV, which is uh, variable as far as attenuation, and so you can kind of change the way that your um, uh, envelope or whatever is is making the sound. It sounds awesome because it's all vectoral based. Really, really cool sounding low pass gate, and because the filter's in there, it really allows you to kind of like change the sound a bit. The resonance gives you really nice plucky nastiness and growly stuff and um, tons of bongos, all kinds of things that you'd expect in um, a really good low-pass gate. Of course, all the vectorals here are tested by Synthertech, and we make sure they're all hand and ear tested, and they're going to sound awesome. So check it out. Okay, getting into the Rat King Gates module here, what I have is I just got a square wave from our VCO going into the low-pass input. Output's going to the speaker. CV is controlled by the MST dual envelope. We're just going to pluck it and ping it in the, um, just just with the filter only. So let's get a little, a little cut up in there. So we turn the CV up, we can, as you can, as you can hear, it sounds like a really nice low pass, gatey, snappy thing. And I like how we can really barely hit it, or we can hit it harder, but this attenuates that input signal. And we can have the low, the high pass input too. Also, so just using the um, VCA side of it, the output of the um, VCF goes right into the input of the VCA. So you don't have to worry about patching that necessarily. But we're gonna bring this into self oscillation mode and we're not gonna use any um, oscillator input. We're just gonna use the oscillation that comes out of the, the resonance and hear how that sounds. And it could make some sweet and very, very wicked drum sounds and whatnot. So let's get that up here. I mean, real punchy, might be hard to hear on YouTube. Of course, by just in the cutoff frequency, we can get that higher. Man, that's gnar. Gnarly. Furthermore, if I patch an LFO um, into the CV control here of the self-oscillating resonance here, you're going to hear some really, really cool things. We've got the envelope, of course, affecting the VCA. Um, Amplitude here, but then let's get some cool polyrhythm stuff. Check it out. FME, but it sounds cool.
And then you, of course, put another VCO into the low pass of the, of the high pass input. sounding modules I've used in a long time. So anyway, check it out. It is, bam, it is the Rat King Gates, and it is out.